Mark Bowden, Michael Leckie here. I'm Michael, he's Mark, and we're here with our career Ask Me Anything. Uh, as most of you know, we work with mostly senior executives and coach them day in and day out. We want to make sure that we can take the things that we've learned working with those very, very senior executives and bring that to you wherever you are in your current career or career search. So a question came up. Uh, many of you have seen my, uh, my uh, uh, videos, and the link, the link will be at the bottom here, on is it better to quit or get fired. And the question that came up around that was, when do you know it's time to quit? Mark, I'm going to throw it over to you first. When do you think you know it's time to quit? Yeah, well, let me tell a very short story, hopefully, around this, <laughs> Michael, uh, as to uh, uh, one time when I knew it was time to quit because I knew I was about to get fired. And there may be, you know, some things there. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm doing a job and uh, the person in, in charge of me and the whole company and my work uh, is is auditing my work uh, with uh, their notepad, and I look over their shoulder and and I see them write down, "Get somebody to replace Mark." Now at that at that point, I burst out laughing. I burst out laughing, and the reason was is I I knew that was the case. I knew that for me, the values of the work that I was trying to create and do were not the values of of the work that the company wanted to create and wanted to sell and there was an absolute disconnect i could feel it in my gut that it wasn't right and it was a bit of a relief as well and so look serendipitous that i look over you know the boss's shoulder to see that they're having the same idea as me but think about that gut feeling that you have. And I'm not a big one, actually, Michael, for gut feelings as a whole. I prefer a little more kind of uh, strategic and cerebral and critical thinking around things. But I think that gut feeling that it doesn't quite feel right and, and, and you know, that you are going to push through the barriers that may be there because work is not necessarily comfortable. It can be very, very uncomfortable, but still right for you. But if it's feeling like the wrong kind of discomfort for you as this was is it the wrong kind of discomfort then that might be the gut signal on this one michael what are your thoughts on this yeah i love that the the right kind of the wrong kind of discomfort and and what that makes me think immediately is that's the kind of feeling that you have to also get used to you don't want to be sorting through that question at the moment when it's come to the point right so if the question is, when do I know it's time to quit? It's a question that you should be asking now when you don't want to quit. You should be thinking about what is it I want to do? Where does I want to go? How do I want my career to unfold? Why would I make a change? Uh, my, my good friend Bob Mesta is going to be coming out with a book, I think later this year in 2023, entitled Hire Your Next Job, about using jobs to be done theory, which he helped create to help figure out where your career goes. And one of the things that becomes very apparent is that if you make a job change poise, choice in the moment without having done the work ahead of time, you're likely to be running away from something but not running to anything. And we've seen a lot of this. We've seen articles now recently about people during the great resignation, as it was called, who have left to go do that thing they wanted to do, but never thought through any aspect of what that was going to take, what price they were going to have to pay to do it, what might change for them, and now are regretting letting go of that job that wasn't so great, but was at least there. And so I think you'll know it's time to quit if you're asking yourself what that looks like and creating a frame for that as you go forward. Then when you approach that point, you'll say, ah, I see it. I knew what this looked like. What you don't want to do is get frustrated by something. And then if you're the kind of personality like you know me in the past, I know I would let things sit and I'd push them down until I was done. And I have a lot of clients like that who will say nothing and then they'll snap and it's over and they make a snap, you know, judgment and they move from something, but they're running away. They're not moving towards. So for me, it's a great question. It just makes sure you're not asking it when it's come to the point of so much pain that you have to do something, ask it a long time ahead of time. Mark, any final thoughts on that? No, just that I think that's really good advice to be thinking way ahead of time. What's, what are some criteria that would make me know it's time to leave. I just think that's brilliant help. Listen, if you want some brilliant help as well on your issues, your problems, michaellecky.com forward slash 
ask. You can ask us both anything about your career and we'll do our best to answer that.